I got another really funny story. Back when I was out here in uh, 1987, I moved out here with my girlfriend at the time, and my mom and I invented this really cool chair. It was called a seat in a sack. And uh, this is before the internet for crying out loud. I don't know, I graduated in 1975 in high school, and I think she and I came up with that chair in 1973 or four, I think. Seat in a sack. And I made a bunch of them in my machine I designed it. It was awesome. Great design. To this day, it's a great design. And uh, so I moved out here in 87. My best friend was out here flying seaplanes to Haviland Beavers. Scott Spengler. He's passed away now. Died in a motorcycle wreck right at the airport at Renton. Best, probably one of the most iconic uh, be uh, De Haviland Beaver pilots in all of the Northwest at the time, and probably still is, and will go down in history. So anyway, uh, I had that going in, oh, uh, I decided after, you know, 73, 74, well, yeah, I had that product in my mind for years, and then I lived in upstate New York in Long Lake, where our folks had a summer camp, and then I bought an old house up there with a friend of mine, who I'm still partners with today, a different property in Maine now. And I started uh, deciding that that was the product to make. So I started design. I started. I came up with the. We had the design back in the 70s. You know, like I say, 73, 74, 75, 73 or four. And then I started manufacturing it in our, in my house, in uh, Long Lake, New York. And I think that was in 1982, 1983, 1984. My upstairs tenant was a great sewer. Tom Zilka was his name. And he started making the fabric for the chair and the bag for the chair. And I made, I bent the aluminum for the frame. And I built all the, uh, we had an awesome deal going on. It was cool as heck. Um, I mean, and we actually did a promo video that my brother shot way back then too, which will come online here eventually. And uh, so I've had the creative spirit since way back then, thanks to my mom. And uh, not sure where I was going with that idea, with that thread, but... <clears throat> I still have, I, I bought that domain name years ago, you know, after the fact, and then I let it go, and then when this whole uh, Shark Tank thing came about, I remember the first video I said, I was talking about this idea that my mom and I came up with, and, you know, because they want to know what your first invention was or how your in inventive spirit came about, and that was probably the first real cool invention that we came up with. Oh, I know what I was going to say, and so... That was the invention, and we came up with Seat in a Sack, which was a great frickin' name. And our company was called Acorn Industries. And uh, so anyway, I had that product. I made, I made a few hundred of those things. Never really sold too many. I sold a few, gave a bunch of them away. And then in 87, when I moved out here for that year, uh, I went to REI with that product. And actually, I lived on Densmore Ave in Seattle. And we had this big house that... My girlfriend and I had, and then we, it was two apart. We, the house was split in two. And uh, there's this guy in the other side of it, and he was a coffee drinker, you know, big time coffee drinker. Well, I told him about the idea, and he ended up actually, we kind of partnered, handshake agreement. He took that uh, chair to China and actually made prototypes of it. And I came, I'm trying to think how that actually worked. I had the prototype I brought out from Long Lake. I think he made a prototype of it. He either, and that, then I took it to REI way back then. And I think, I can't remember who it was. I think I actually met with the owner of REI. I set up in a telephone appointment and I went down there and I showed him my idea and he loved it. And he said that they would buy it. And then there was another store. Oh, Fred Myers was the other one. I contacted Fred Myers also and said that, you know, we're going to make this thing. Fred Myers said, we're on board, we're going to buy it. We want to buy it. Well, you know, I was only, shoot, back then I was in my 20s. I didn't know how to come up with money to supply Fred Myers and REI. I mean, so, I mean, basically I was stuck right there. So the, the point of my story is, is today, being 2014, now we have Shark Tank. Back then we didn't have Shark Tank. We didn't, it was a real tough deal for, you know, 
kid to come up with an idea like that and go to market with it. You know, where do you get the money? Where do you find the people? Seattle was a cool town back then, still is to this day. <clears throat> very new techno, techno, very new tech town kind of way. I mean, REI was just kind of in its beginnings in a way. So, uh, like I say, I still have that domain name. Uh, I still might make something out of it. It's a great idea. It's a great, great domain name, great uh, deal. But it gets back to the story about Shark Tank. Thank God we have a, a TV show like Shark Tank and five or six or seven sharks that are, you know, willing to invest in entrepreneurs like myself. And here I am, 56 now. And I'm, you know, it's just a, it's a weird deal. It's a weird story. That's all I wanted to say. Thanks for listening. <laughs>